Hi, my name is Kayla File, and this is my theology paper presentation. Um, something in my life most recently that I've been thinking a lot about has been community. I recently have came back from a semester um, from two very community-driven experiences, one working at a camp and one um, studying abroad in Sweden at a folk school um, in Jön Shipping. Uh, coming back, I found that my community looks way different than the intense communities that I have been living in, and it's something that I have been longing for and talking a lot about and really interested in. Um, as I've been talking with friends, it seems like this theme of what a community looks like, who's my community, wh how intense does my community have to be, um, have all been major themes and questions um, of people who have been here the whole year or have just transferred in or have gone to other schools as well. Um, even to my friends who aren't Christian, they are also seeking these questions and longing for deep connections with people and uh, friendships that are very solid and very driven in themselves. Um, so we all have this longing for community and friends and deep connections and it's something I wanted to know more about which brings me to my paper and my topic. Um, so my paper is about Stanley Grenz and his views on the community uh, within the Trinity and how that is also instilled in humans. Um, Stanley Grenz was a very recent theologian. Uh, he was an evangelical Baptist theologian who worked under Wolfhart Panningberg um, in Germany when he was there doing more schoolwork. Um, through this influence of Wolfhart, uh, Grenz saw the importance of more personal theology and connection to people within us. Um, Grenz was very much so a part of the postmodern movement and was very open to a shared narrative view of theology. Uh, he was very progressive in his theology and um, made a lot of breakthroughs in making it more personal for people more recently, uh, but sadly he passed away in 2005 due to a brain hemorrhage. Um, honestly, this topic of community uh, didn't really cross my mind when I started this paper. Um, I kind of just chose a random theologian and was like, whatever, like I'll start looking and then I'll figure out what to do. Um, but as I started looking at the kind of work that Grenz has done, um, I started seeing this kind of theme of like, humans and humanitarianism um, and how that incorporates with the church and Christianity. Um, Grenz has written a lot uh, over his course of being alive. His works include sexual ethics, a biblical perspective, women in the church, a biblical theology of women in ministry, theology for the community of God and the social God and the relational self, with a Trinitarian theology of the Amigo Dei. Um, so all of his topics in his books are very human focused and very relationally focused um, with God and with others um, and very just present day uh, things that we deal with. Um, so I felt like when I looked at all his works that they all had the theme of how humans relate to each other, which got me thinking more about community. Um, so I started wondering, what does community look like to God? Uh, why do we all have this deep desire to have a community even if we aren't Christian? Uh, was this a human nature thing, or was it placed in us by God? Um, there's just a lot of questions popping up around, why is this a thing? Why is this with everybody? Like, what is causing this um, deep desire? So I started doing research, um, and so I read through a couple of his books. Uh, my first primary source that I read through was The Community of God. Um, I felt like, obviously, the title drew me to it and kind of focused in more on what I wanted to know. Um, so this book provided a good overview of a lot of Grenz's beliefs about the Trinity. Uh, in this book, he explained a lot about how God is three in one. Um, and because he is three in one, he has a community within himself between the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Uh, Grenz went on to describe how um, the Trinity works together and how um, God like can create like conquer these tasks, but he can't do so without the Trinity and without like his teammates um, kind of like helping him out and doing that even though it is himself but it's also a community within him um, so because they work together and were closely connected they created a community so the Father Son Holy Spirit um, even though they're one by like just being in God they are also on their own um, so then he went on to explain how because they created a community and the Holy Spirit was with us here on earth he uh, God has also given the desire of community to be back with God to humans. Um, because, like, the Holy Spirit is separated, he wants to just kind of go back and hang out with the rest of his community. Um, just like, we want to go hang out with our friends when we're bored. Um, 
But he also explained how the spirit attracts us to others when it's instilled in us. Uh, the desire for others and longing is due to the nature of the Trinity and the overall nature of God, which was something that was really interesting and um, a big picture thing, uh, which um, led to even more questions and more research. Um, so another primary source that I read through was the Trinitarian Theology of Stanley Grenz by Jason Sexton. I felt like the outside look on Grenz's theology would be very interesting to look at uh, to see if there were any contradictions or different views on things. Sexton went through the entire Trinitarian view that was mentioned in my first primary source, but he also tied in the Amigo Dei concept from Grenz as well. Um, and the Amigo Dei concept is found in Genesis 1, 26-27, and in the states... Then God said, Let us make mankind in our image and our likeness, so that they may rule over the fish in the sea and the birds in the sky, over the livestock and all the wild animals, and over all the creatures that move along the ground. So God created mankind in his own image, and the image of God he created them. Male and female he created them. So this verse um, brings out this concept, which means that the humans were created to be like God and made in the likeness of God. Um, so Grenz goes on to say that because we are made to be like God, we are given the desire of a deep community because in the reality of the Trinity, that is what God is. Um, so once I got the overview of what Stanley Grenz was thinking towards the Trinity and community, I began to look at other sources and skim through areas that highlighted these ideas. I looked at his different works as well as a thesis that was written off of his work, um, which was here at North Park. So after reviewing all these sources, uh, my tentative thesis is Stanley Grenz believes that humans long for community due to the nature of the Trinity. This topic is something that is very interesting and I'm excited to continue to research more on it.